Uh, today was a, was a victory for everybody. We got some closure, at least for the boys. Yeah. It's tough to speak right now, I'm sorry. It's just it's an emotional time. Is, Joe, can you just touch on how this... To be honest, you know, it's, it's a system. You know, we, we, we can't... Uh, it's, it's not going to bring yeah, any, any of the families back. Joe, can you touch on how this has affected your family? It's uh, affected us pretty hard. And it was a big part of our lives. We rode for three months together. It's been hard. I had to move out here to Edmonton so I could just be with the boys. I followed him to, to Alberta coming from Ontario, so I, just, I need to be closer to him. So driving four hours every every other month just to come see the family. It was, you know, it was good. It was, we had it. I was the week before it happened, or that weekend it happened, that was supposed to be there that weekend to see it. That was the last weekend I was supposed to see it. So you want it, and then the keyboard? Every day. Every day. Yeah. It doesn't bring anyone back, but is there any kind of comfort in the fact that Baumgartner got the harshest sentence in Canadian history oh, yeah. since the last execution? Sir David? Again, it's, it, it's, it's a system. We call it justice. Justice. Uh, my way of justice is back in the old days. Yeah, hang, hang. That's that's justice. For what he did. Is there anything? Everything about it was was it's it was Ed. He took care of us. He was he was my dad. We never tried to get with Travis. Uh, do I want to? Probably not. Whatever he's gonna say is not gonna mean a word to me. Throughout the proceedings, he sat there with no expression. And then we expected that. We, we, we expected him to be there and just put his head down and not look at anybody because that's, that's who he is. You know, he, was, he came from behind and did what he had to do from, from the back because he's a coward. So for him to sit there and look at everybody, I didn't expect that. You know, They're going up without their father. There's nothing, you can't, you can't explain that to, to a child that they will never be able to see that as being their boy. And they will be there for them. There's, there's nothing you can explain. You, can, you just got to help them. They can grow up to be a man. Yep. The last year and a bit has been a really difficult year for our family. Uh, um, I've seen some enormous strength in this family that I've never dreamed of. regarding Michelle's death, other than that she had been shot. This week we learned the details of exactly what happened, and hearing that was difficult. It sent us all back to the day we learned she was gone. We're relieved that the trial is finished. We're also pleased that the new law allowing consecutive sentencing has been used. We feel that it is justified. Michelle's death made all of us into victims and not having to think about the possibility of parole for Travis Baumgartner for 40 years takes away a burden that no one should have to bear. What comes next for us? Healing. Hopefully we all reach forgiveness for the man who ended Michelle's life, but we are all at different points on the journey through our grief. What we hope comes from this tragedy is a realization of how much we have to trust each other to behave like we should. It's far too easy to take a life these days. So many things in society have desensitized us to how our actions can hurt others. Instead of dealing with our problems with words, we use guns and knives. 
We need to learn to live more consciously. Stop and see that the person standing next to us has many issues, as we do, and take a breath before reacting. It only took a moment of weakness or anger, of blindly lashing out, and someone vibrant, loving, and much loved is gone. We all miss Michelle so much and always will. We would like to thank everyone who worked to help us and the other victims of this horrible crime. University of Alberta Safe Walk volunteers, Ashley and Sapphira, Edmonton Police Services members, as well as the Victim Services Unit, Emergency Medical Services members, as well as the Crown Prosecutor's Office for their hard work. Thank you.